If you opened the paper this morning, read this headline right here, and then checked to make sure your next flight was on an Airbus, you probably aren't the only one. Quote, shortcuts everywhere, how Boeing favored speed over quality. The New York Times interviewed dozens of current and former Boeing employees who say the workforce has, quote, dropped. The inspection process has, quote, weakened. And production speed is being prioritized over quality control. Joining us now, former U.S. ambassador to the International Civil Aviation Organization, also the captain of Flight 1549, known as Miracle on the Hudson, Sully Sullenberger. Ambassador, thank you very much for being with us. What do you say to people who have to get on a, a Boeing jet in the future? I got on one this morning, but I am concerned. You know, Boeing for many decades has been a preeminent American company of engineering excellence. They have lost their way and they need to regain it. And it's not going to happen quickly. It's going to take time. I lay much of the blame at the feet of the board. Uh, and their latest uh, CEOs. They need to have people there who are engineers and who understand the need for engineering excellence. You know, as, as ultra safe as we have made commercial aviation, we can't forget what an unforgiving endeavor aviation ultimately is and how unforgiving it is of any discrepancies, any nonconformances. So much has to go right all the time. It's the human factor that always saves the day. But we need to give them planes that we can trust in every situation and meet every uh, requirement of a part in that airplane. And there are thousands and thousands of parts that need to be made a certain way and documented that we can prove that. And with this case, that didn't happen. I think that when you get into the skies, you, the presumption you have is that the people who have built the plane that are putting it up there or checking it are making every effort to make sure that everything is as safe as possible, given just how, um, how much can go wrong. When you read through the New York Times today, did you sit there and wonder what in the world is happening? Was it surprising to you to see these allegations of cutting corners, quality control lapses, the work staff not being expert, expert enough in the, in, the, in the manufacturing of these parts? Did that surprise you? No, it didn't. And it happens in every industry, not just in this one. You know, I've, I've been a public speaker now for 15 years, and what I tell every audience, and I have been the whole time, is what a compelling business case there is for quality and safety. That um, whatever domain you're in, it's always ultimately better and cheaper to get it right up front than to get it wrong and have to repair the damage after the fact. And when lives are lost, there's no way to repair that damage. So concerns have been raised at Boeing over the years, according to people who work at Boeing. The reporting has been pretty, um, uh, pretty well documented on this. There was also a whistleblower who apparently, allegedly took his life the other day. There's an investigation ongoing. Um, his parents, Roger. yeah, were interviewed by, by CBS News. I want to play a little bit about what they said about their son. That's all he wanted, just uh, the safety of the public. He thought that was at stake. That, that he knew that was at stake, and that's, that's what he was concentrating on. I'm sorry, that's his brother. So he said, the family said that he would raise these issues in internal meetings and that he would come out of those meetings feeling ostracized, that he wasn't being listened to. Um, how important is it for a, a company like this, any company really, but a company responsible for the lives of so many people, to hear from the individuals within their company who are raising concerns? It's critically important. And what has to happen is we have to have leadership on the board and in the C-suite who understand safety. And I don't think safety is taught in our business schools. It should be. What they have to do as leaders is they're responsible for creating the culture at that organization. And culture is, is everything. And we have to have an effective safety culture where people have their priorities to rate. It is not financial considerations that should be number one. It's keeping us and our customers safe. That should be job number one and job number two and three and four and 10. And right now that's not happening in all our big companies. 
and that's got to change. We have to put people on the board who have engineering backgrounds. We've got to put people in C-suites who understand what's important and why. It and was, right now, many of them don't. It was an engineering company before um, it became a company that was trying to make more money. I mean, they were always trying to make money, but the, the, the guiding light was engineering up until the early 2000s, uh, according to, to the reporting that's yeah, been done they on did, it. Yeah, they did stock buybacks yeah. to enrich themselves and instead of investing in people and in processes and in safety. Let me ask you this just one last time. Why do you feel safe getting on a Boeing jet right now? Because so much does go right. I mean, you know, 28,000 times a day, 10.2 million times a year. And it's because people rise to the occasion and make sure that even if there is something going wrong, that we all get to our destination safely because they're well trained and they have a dedication. They have a duty of care that technology alone cannot feel. Ambassador Sully Sullenberger, thank you very much for joining us. I think it's good for people to hear that you do still feel safe, but that you are um, somebody who is going to go out there and acknowledge that Boeing has lost their way and they do need to make changes. Thank you again for your time. My pleasure. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.